let's work on adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers with like denominators. When we're adding 5 7 plus 5 7 we make sure the denominator stays the same. And we just add the numerators. 5 7 plus 5 7 is equal to 10 7 At that point, we have to put this in the simplest form. To put it into simplest form, we change that improper fraction into a mixed number. We read 10 7 as 10 divided by 7. 7 goes into 10 one whole time with a remainder of 3. If we could divide that 3, we would divide that 3 into 7 parts. And I wrote out that number sentence just to help you remember and help you see that remainder 3. Yep, that 3, if we were able to divide it, we divide it into 7 parts. So 5 7 plus 5 7 equals 1 and 3 7, where it is that I showed my work there. If we look at this problem here, we have 3 and 1 fourth plus 2 and 1 fourth. And then so, let's work with the fraction first. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 2 fourths. And then let's work with the wholes. 3 plus 2 is 5. And so we have 5 and 2 fourths. 5 and 2 fourths as a answer that's in simplest form is what? Oh, 5 and 1 half. And so the sum there is 5 and 1 half. For this problem here, I have 6 and 4 ninths minus 2 and 1 ninth. I'm going to show you why it might be a good idea to work with the fractional part first, the 4 ninths minus the 1 ninth. And the reason behind that is then we'll know whether or not we would need a regroup. Can we take away 1 ninth from 4 ninths? And the answer to that is yes. So we write down 3 ninths. And then we look at the whole. 6 minus 2 is 4. Finally, all we need to do is to simplify. Remembering to keep that whole portion. 4 and 3 ninths does equal 4 and 1 third. It's your turn to try. The instructions say add or subtract. Simplify. That means we have to express our answer in the simplest form. Please go ahead and copy these problems down. Hit pause and solve them please. Remember to simplify. All right, starting with that first one. Oh, it's a subtraction problem. Three minus two is one. And then we have five tenths minus one tenths, which equals four tenths, which does simplify to one and two fifths. For the next problem, it's an addition problem where I'm figuring out the sum of those two mixed numbers. I've got 6 plus 2, which equals 8, and then I have 3 eighths plus 3 eighths, which equals 6 eighths, and 8 and 6 eighths simplifies to 8 and 3 fourths. I'm going to write that there. This one here, we have a mixed number plus a fraction. The denominators are still the same. So we write that 9 there still. 4 fifths plus 1 fifth is equal to 5 fifths. But 9 and 5 fifths is not in simplest form. 5 fifths is equal to what? 1 whole. And then so if we put 1 whole with that 9, we get the answer of 10. And that makes sense. If we had 9 and 4 fifths and we just added 1 more fifth to it, we would be at 10. For this problem, we have a whole number minus a fraction. We just have 5 minus 1 third. And then I think that you'll agree with me. Let me show you a strategy and an approach for this one here. 5 minus 1 third. I think 5 here, we can break it down into 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, right? And then we still have subtract and minus 1 third. I think you also agree with me that 1 is equal to 3 thirds. So now we have 4 plus 3 thirds minus 1 third. 3 thirds minus 1 third is 2 thirds, and we have that whole number of 4. So that 5 minus 1 third is just 4 and 2 thirds, which makes sense 
If you have 4 and 2 thirds, you add it together with 1 third, you do get 5. That was that check. Inverse operation of subtraction there. Let me show you another problem here. We have 6 and 1 fourth minus 2 and 3 fourths. Now, I see right away that I'm going to have to regroup. I've got 1 fourth here minus 3 fourths, and I can't do that. That order of the subtraction problem matters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to regroup one of these holes here, of this 6 here. I think you'll agree with me that you have 5 plus 1 and 1 fourth for this 6 and 1 fourth. Now this 1 and 1 fourth, I'm going to rewrite as a improper fraction. One whole is worth how many fourths? Four. And if I put it together with the 1 fourth that I have, I have 5 fourths. So really, this is 5 plus 5 fourths, which could be written as 5 and 5 fourths. I've now shown my regroup work here, where 5 and 5 fourths minus 2 and 3 fourths, I start with my whole numbers as 5 minus 2, which is 3, and then 5 minus 3 in my numerator is 2, and then my denominator stays the same as being 4. Now, it would be a shame to lose points because you didn't simplify and to get the wrong answer. And remember, keep your holes there. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Here's a problem for you to try. And then so we have this type, same type of problem where we're going to rewrite 3 and 3 eighths as 2. And how many eighths? It's going to be an improper fraction. That one whole was worth 8 eighths. And remember to put it together with the 3 eighths. You try. Hit pause. Did you come up with 11? 2 and 11 eighths equaling 3 and 3 eighths? Hope so. And I have my rest of my problem there. Again, starting with the holes, 2 minus 1 is 1, 11 minus 5 is 6, and then so I have 1 and 6 eighths. Now the only thing I left to, for me to do is to simplify that. So 1 and 6 eighths is equal to 1, remember that there, and 3 fourths. And I'm done. Let's go ahead and review. Those previous problems there did require some regrouping work and were a little bit more challenging. These are the type of problems that you will most often see at this level in math. And then so when we review, 3 sevenths plus 5 sevenths is 8 sevenths because we kept the denominator the same. And we simplify that to 1 and 1 seventh. Now for our other problem here, you'll notice that both of these are mixed numbers and we are subtracting these mixed numbers. Again, we have 5 six minus 1 six, so we already see that we're not going to need a regroup. So it actually might be a good strategy to work on the fraction first and then the whole number, because then we know whether or not we need a regroup. 2 minus 1 is 1, and so we have 1 and 4 six here which simplifies to what? 1 and 2 thirds.